The first step is use water soluble pencils uh, like Stabilo, pencil, crayon. And uh, what I am using are the Neo Colors 2. These are water soluble crayons, and I'm using a couple of the blue tones uh, for my page, and then um, activate it with a brush with water, just coloring some uh, bits of the page here and there, and using different um, color tones of the blue. I believe I have about three uh, blue color tones in my uh, set of neo colors uh, which were a perfect match with each other so that's what i've used and then step two add mountains or trees um, i have to say that i printed out uh, an image of mountains but uh, in the end i decided to use my modeling paste and a spatula to create some um, mountains on my page. This is a modeling paste I made myself uh, with another modeling paste and that was one uh, that I bought at Action and it was very fluid, very thin. So uh, I got a tip to add some baby powder to that and that really works. So it is uh, thicker now and it also smells better. Um, step three is stamp into wet gesso. I'm using these um, heart shape uh, stamps by Dina Wakely, and I'm only using the, the bottom part, which is a sort of a mountain uh, when you look at it. So, and I'm using the heavy gesso, uh, I believe it's from Art Basics. Yeah, Art Basics. Um, adding some with the spatula and then stamping into it with um, the hearts from Dina Wakely and also the other stamp that I used was also by Dina Wakely. It had numbers on it, one, two, three. And here I am adding a bit more of the white gesso and stamping with a lid of, um, I, I don't know where it came from. I believe it was from an old bottle of gesso. Then step four, use black gesso paint to cover something up. And I decided to uh, use the stencil by Tim Holtz. These are a kind of, to stay in the theme uh, with mountains uh, and trees, I decided to use this uh, stencil that had um, Trees, uh, trees on uh, on them by Tim Holtz, and this is a gesso by, I believe it's also Dina Wakely, and I'm using a little sponge to add the trees. Then uh, between steps, I decided to add a bit more texture with my modeling paste, and this is also a stencil by. Tim Holtz, I believe it's called Bubble, and I'm just adding some texture at the left and right side of the page on top of the, the black trees, really. And then we go to step five, uh, which says use pastel chalk in some way. So I had these uh, chalk sticks and I decided to use this uh, oh how do you call such a thing it's for your nails for doing your nails really and I scratched my uh, uh, chalk against it so a powder came off that I tried to um, um, activate with water which kind of worked but not as much as some of the magical uh, pigment powders do so um, also uh, using um, a, a sealer this is a, a glue uh, spray i made from a medium 
and uh, spraying that down on my page so hopefully the the powder will stick to it and will give a nice effect to my page and uh, between steps I decided to um, repeat the circles that I had made with uh, stamping into the gesso with the lid of the bottle um, this is a gold metallic paint by uh, Artiste and I decided to add some more of the circles there then step six use some free collage images from the internet and I have printed out some hot air balloons with the white mountains I had I thought that would look nice uh, also grabbed a few bits and pieces like tissue paper um, um, and I'm not sure at this point what I should do with it so first I am gluing down the collage images with a Mod Podge and then I have cut down some of the tissue paper um, in smaller strips and uh, sticking it uh, with the between the trees the black trees and also using some stamped uh, tissue paper I had made before and um, gluing that down with the Mod Podge as well all um, in the parts where those trees are because I thought that would give a nice effect and um, the tissue paper you see lying on the left hand from me the black and the and the white I bought at action so for you Dutchies uh, they have great tissue paper over there so for very little money okay then step 7 use cut out words or phrases from any printed source so I have this uh, quote or text I could go anywhere, print it out in uh, different uh, with different fonts, and uh, trying to decide which one I like best. In in the end, I choose uh, a capital font. I'm not sure which font it was, and I am deciding where to stick it. And then my husband comes interfering and tells me what he thinks of it, thinks of it. So I take his advice and put it in the gap between those black tree lines. And adding that with a mud patch. And once it's all glued down, I am outlining those pieces of text with a micron pen. It's a 0.1, very thin uh, tip. I um, wanted to um, get me some more of those. And then, step eight, add something another artist gave you. And just recently I got a big surprise in my mailbox from Sunny. She sent me some happy mail and which included a lot of die cuts. So this is something I use for step eight, but also for step nine, uh, uh, sorry, step 10, because um, that says use a die cut. But this step eight i uh, had something another artist gave you i used a little bird and then step nine is add something metallic so i go back to the gold uh, acrylic paint by uh, artiste uh, that is a metallic paint and using a little sponge to make a border around my page and painting the edges and what i'm also doing is use the same uh, paint to make some uh, splatter on my page with a little wet brush water it down and then sprinkle some on my page so that was step 9 and step 10 says use a die cut so I'm going back to those 
great uh, die cuts uh, Sunny gave me, uh, and I've chosen a tree this time, which I am painting black with a black acrylic paint. And then glue it down with a Mod Podge onto the right side of the page. And to make it stand out a bit more, um, I'm going in with a white gel pen, a few white gel pens actually, because they didn't work all that well, and outlining this tree a bit more so it stands out a bit more. So my page is almost done. Uh, remember to check out the description box below because I will leave you a link to the Pick a Stick uh, Facebook group. So if you like to join in, uh, please do. We would love to uh, have you and see what you create. Um, I'm left with adding the date to my page and sign it. And that's about it for me. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and see you again very soon. Bye bye.